know, there's, uh, there's a lot done for uh, young poets, new poets, but I think Passager is unique uh, in uh, fostering older poets. And of course, by older poets, I mean poets over 50. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm quite, a, I'm doubly qualified. <laughs> <laughs> Writing poetry is for me a, a celebration of, of the evening of a long life, a coda, a striking new expression of my inner being that surprises me as much as those who know me. Why I waited so long to get started, I don't know. In these precious days, I dress my private demons in these scribblings to come out from behind the shadows, shadows that have darkened my long and privileged life, sometimes choking, sometimes joking, <laughs> waiting in a kind of pur purgatory. Thus, this, uh, uh, the, my poem, uh, A Sunday in Purgatory, uh, kind of sets the, uh, the, the tone for the, uh, for the collection. Uh, and it, it, it covers some of the aspects, some of the things that, uh, I think about and that uh, older people think about it. Uh, and, uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll read it. Um, <laughs> a voluntary inmate immured in a last resort for seniors. There are constant reminders the Reaper is lurking around the corner. At Ingleside, a faith-based community for vintage Presbyterians, I am an old Jew. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> uh, I'm not complaining. With so much I want to do, uh, doing it at my pace, slowly. Anticipation of death is like looking for a new job. <laughs> then, suddenly on a Sunday, talking recklessly while eating brunch. A grisly feed of meat lodges in my throat. I struggle for breath, too annoyed to be scared. <laughs> Someone pounds my back to no avail. Out of nowhere, an alert, pint-sized waiter performs the Heimlich maneuver. I don't believe it'll work. <laughs> it does. I agree. Looking up, I see the concerned visage and reverse color of a retired Navy chaplain, pinch hitting as God's messenger for the day. Had he come to perform the last rites to ease my passage from this world into the hereafter? Don't jump to dull conclusions. In World War II, on active duty, he learned the Heimlich as well as the Himmlich. <laughs> to a standing victim, he rushed in the vein. On this day, I'm twice blessed by the kindness of strangers. This uh, next poem, uh, Crept to Sheen, is a uh, kind of a combination of, uh, of uh, revived old dreams and things that uh, happened in family life. Uh, we, uh, we had a, a family farm in Dutchess County, uh, uh, New York, and uh, there was a a portico in the, in the back that looked over the looked westward over the 
sunset, and uh, I remember sitting many evenings with my um, parents and my brother, uh, looking at the, the setting sun, slouched in unraveling rattan chairs, mother's ghost between the two of us in the sunset's haunting afterglow. I asked my brother, can it be that we grizzly codgers are more provocative, clothed in multicolored deception rather than exposed in our honest nakedness, stripped of comfortable old lies that over many decades have crusted tears and warped our bodies, our bones barely covered by skin, dry, thin, and wrinkled like the crept of sheen of mother's faded evening gown. And then finally, a poem, wow, over a hundred years old now, I can say I have had, I can say I have had everything I expected out of life, but I've had about all I want. <laughs> <laughs> These days my family and good friends are relentless cheerleaders, their cheers I could do without. <laughs> they look me over and say, wow. I yell back, ow. <laughs> is, that, is that enough? <laughs> Questions. Right, right. So thank you um, for an unforgettable. Right.